What is up YouTube, N64 fun time coming back at you today. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep this video really short, but what I'm basically talking about today is gonna be HDR, or high dynamic range. Why is this a thing? Why am I even excited about it enough to talk about it on my YouTube channel? Well, I have to first start out by giving you a little background on why I want to talk about this. So if you see in my uh, little you know, shrine back here, I recently picked up a PlayStation 4. Um, I got a bunch of games for it. Most of them are PlayStation exclusives, and that's kind of why I haven't been making videos lately. I've been using a lot of my free time. I don't have much of it, but I've been using that free time just to play some video games, relax, and just have some time for myself. I actually just beat uh, Spider-Man not too long ago. I just finished Hellblade, uh, which is a really, really good game. I'm actually going to spend uh, a video and do uh, a really good in-depth review on this because this game absolutely deserves it. And I just started God of War. So I've been using a lot of my free time to play those games, to enjoy my PlayStation 4. Um, so that's you know why I haven't been making videos lately. But with the PlayStation 4, I ended up getting a new TV. I got a 4K HDR-capable TV. Um, obviously the PlayStation Slim, which is what I got, does not uh, do uh, 4K, but it does do HDR. Um, and when I started playing these PlayStation 4 games, now up until about two months ago, I have never played a PlayStation 4, ever. Never even held a controller. That's how crazy it is. I don't know how long the PlayStation 4 has been out, but it's been multiple years. I haven't even played one. So to make the upgrade for me was kind of a big deal. To upgrade my TV was kind of a big deal. As you know, I'm kind of a cheapskate. So 1080p high definition to 4K Ultra HD really didn't appeal to me that much. I don't have a very large house, so having a very large TV um, isn't something I'm able to do. I don't have the space for a very large TV. Why does that matter? So making the jump from an uh, HD TV to an Ultra HD TV, the only really good way to notice the difference um, is to have a larger TV. Pixel density, which we use for, you know, the difference between the things, I'm gonna talk about pixel density. The higher the pixel density, the larger the TV you need to actually have in order to see the differences. Um, now, it's I, they say it's right around 50 inch TV. If you have under 50 inches of TV, it's really Really not worth or you really can't notice or see a huge difference between 4k and 1080p so many people are gonna tell you difference but the reality is is our eyes just can't see that well with the frames you're, you're squishing a large amount of stuff into a smaller amount of area you don't have the ability to see that well um, so with the smaller TV um, and the this, uh, PlayStation Slim only being able to do 1080p um, was well enough for me. But putting these games in, a lot of these games I have are HDR compatible. Now, what is HDR? HDR just stands for High Dynamic Range, which basically means the color variant and the blacks and the whites are far greater than what was capable before. The whole idea with HDR is being able to see color the way your eyes is able to actually see color and being able to put shadows on the screen in an appropriate manner. Now, HDR was a photography term that has been used kind of for a while, but it is different as far as talking about HDR in a TV. Um, and this ability for a TV to do an HDR, like an HDR picture, absolutely blows everything out of the water as far as upgrades in TV goes. There has been a few studies done saying that people would much rather look at an HDR 1080p image than a 4K image on a larger TV that doesn't have the ability to do um, HDR. It's that much more appealing to us. We see the color as it's supposed to be. Now, I'm excited about this because to me, this is the first massive upgrade in TV technology for me ever since really the switch between um, you know 4x3 standard definition to HD uh, widescreen uh, uh, definition 16x9. Um, the, 
And, and the first thing that I can think of that really went from that four by three aspect to 16 by nine and absolutely blew me out of the water was finding Nemo on a brand new plasma TV. Now that was back in 2003 and I can tell you that was the last time I looked at an image on the TV and had the same reaction as I did when I first saw an image in HDR for an extended period of time. So it's been well over, you know, almost 15 years before I looked at an image on a TV and went, "Oh my gosh, that is absolutely stunningly unbelievable so the good thing about HDR is um, high dynamic range can apply to any size image any pixel density so you don't have to do 4k like I said the PlayStation 4 slim can only do a 1080p image it has the ability to do HDR you can have a 720p image and it still has the ability to be HDR if it's shot in that way um, it does bring more data. So, you know, there is more data going through your HDMI cable. So I think you need to have HDMI 2.0 um, in, in order to have HDR. Some older TVs don't have the ability to do that. So that's why they've been uh, on more of the 4K TVs because they've been upgrading the a HDMI ports. So yeah i just like i wish i could compare and contrast pictures to you with um hdr versus non-hdr but if you don't have an hdr screen you can't really tell the difference so while we're expanding this 4k and 8k and all this stuff i i really don't think at the end of the day it's gonna matter Pixel density only matters by the size of your screen if you keep a smaller screen 4K, 8K, 7 billion K, it's, it, it just doesn't matter. It's not gonna look any different to you, but HDR does matter. HDR for me is what I'm excited for, for the future of gaming and the future of TVs. HDR for me blows anything new TVs out of the water. So pay attention to HDR, um, pay attention to it in your games, uh, in your TV screens, look for that because that to me is what uh, looks amazing. Do a little bit of research for yourself. Usually when I see something, I just like dive into it and do as much research as I possibly can. So kind of a nerdy geek out thing, but I don't know. I'm excited for HDR and HDR and TVs and the HDR technology, high dynamic range technology uh, in the future and having that be just a standard thing in video games and computers and all that stuff. So I don't know, there you go. There's a few just short minutes on why I got excited about HDR and why I think these games just look so good. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I got more to come. I'm probably gonna do a Hellblade review as soon as I possibly can, as soon as I get the time to do that. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. N64 fun time. Until next time, be nice, stay positive. Always be gaming.